welcome back to the channel. We are working on something totally different today. You guys have never seen this on our channel. But if you've been watching, you've seen me buy this along with the tractor and a bunch of other stuff. We took it in on trade for skid steer. So we've got a Wood Miser LT70 sawmill. This is something we do not work on, but bought this or trade, took it in on trade, as I said. This thing's been sitting for like five years. Um, I was told that it run last, so we're going to go through it. I actually have one of these in our personal stash. It's an LT40, so I'm somewhat familiar with them, but... This has a little Cat Perkins diesel on it. Um, I guess we're gonna try to get it running. We got a couple new filters there. We're gonna drain the oil out. Probably change the fuel out. See what we can get running. Check the hydraulic oil. I know we're probably gonna be ordering a couple parts. I'm pretty sure this chain's not supposed to be flopping around. Like we probably need a uh, sprocket or something now. That's what I was kind of wondering. I think that's for the chain or the saw guide. Yeah, it's a little bit different than the one I got, but we'll get it figured out. We get it working here. I have to bring a log from home and do some sawmill. We can make some sideboards for your El Camino. Okay. That would look sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah, they would. I'd you got steak them. pockets in the top? Or we just make uh, some? We can make some. Let's weld some channel on the side. I'm sure there used to be a piece of the trim that used to go there. Well, anyway, we're going to get into this thing. We've got some new blades out there that come with it, so we'll get a blade and stuff on it. You get enough boards, I could do one of them wood grain beds. Oh yeah, I got some old hickory at home that yeah. I cut down, nice and tough. Might need some wheel wells too. Oh, we're just going to make a wooden car? Like the whole inside wood if you can. We'll make it one of those Australian utes. Yeah. Flatbed. Yeah, that'd be sweet. All your Australian friends would be happy. That's right. Well, I guess we'll get a pan and find out where to drain the oil in this dude. Right here. Right there, he says. water no oh it's just black okay um okay maybe she's just she just locked. needs some air bud okay you I thought there's no oil in it didn't you oh girl i even got a pine in there. find us a hole to open up dipstick there's a big hole come on i need you <clears throat> can hold it Oh, He's still not doing anything here, bud. Oh, there you go. Now we got full flowage. There we go. Power filter. Where would I be? Oh, you still can't even see it. Back in here. Let me see if I can be like you, bub. Look, I got one hand on the camera, one hand here. When you get done, you gotta bring our people over here. Oh, I'm not mad enough. Oh. Okay, Herculean left hand coming. All right, here. You can have them back. Oh yeah, I'm not come, qualified. Come look at this. We got this little airbag right here. Oh, it's, it's got, got a tire plug in it. It's got a plug. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> that's a new oil filter. Don't worry, I got I got that. Meanwhile, I'm still holding pain here. We're about done draining. All right, we're gonna take the fuel filter off here. See how old this fuel is. Doesn't look terrible. That's the inside. Nothing in there really to speak of. That's good. Get some new rings and put this back on. Outside. It's America is what that is. I 
Yeah, o ring there. Like a bigger one. A bigger one? And a bag. This bigger one? Like a three quarter inch one. All right, got the fuel filter on. So if you guys not seen, I'll try to link it down below when we got all this stuff and hauled it in. It's probably the last video. Um, you guys might notice this thing looks 100% better. You know why? Hi, Paul Randy. Mr. Randy washed this thing. It was all covered in green mold, black stuff. So he's over cleaning up a uh, track loader. We should show him this track loader because we did a video on it too. Yeah. So if you guys watched a few videos ago, we did a line boring video with our new line boring machine, but Here's the end product. Randy's got her all cleaned up. We got new track pads on it. If you remember, it had no track pads on it. Put those on after paint, but uh, yeah, there it is. New bucket pins. And... Randy's making it look pretty. Shine, baby shine. That's what call him the old man behind the scenes. That's right. <laughs> We're just bragging on your wash job over there, Randy. Oh, thanks. All right. We need some engine oil put back in this thing, don't we? Yeah. Get her filled up. We'll get that fuel bled out. Gotta check oil filter. These have a hydraulic system on them. This thing come with no battery, so we got to look into that. So, all right, we got the bleeder screw open on top of the fuel filter here. Looks like we got us a little hole. Primer pump. You hear air coming in there, bub? I do. That's good. Meanwhile, I keep pumping away. Fuel didn't smell super terrible, so we're gonna try to get it going on it. Kevin's putting some oil in it way up here. It's about the size of your El Camino motor, ain't it? Size my turbo. There we go. Got fuel. A lot of crap coming out of there. It's not cleaning up like I like it. I couldn't find the number or cross that number, so I'll probably have to call Wood Miser and get a new air filter, but that's gonna be good enough to get us running. We gotta get a few other parts, I'd say, from them anyway, so I'll wait and order all that stuff at once. If you guys don't know, these things are made in Indiana, so their headquarters in Indianapolis actually make these in Greensburg, Indiana, so super local to us. All right, we're gonna get a battery stuck in this thing. The one and only Group 31 battery. Oh, yeah. Negatives over here. Kind of awkward place. All right, we're gonna wait and get it running before we put the cover on it. Kevin's back here in the hydraulic section. Check the hydraulic fluid and see what's going on. Ooh. Ooh, how you feel about that? Randy? Yeah. You missed a spot in here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably clean that out too. Got a hydraulic filter you need to replace. This looks like one of the dipsticks. What does this line do? Uh, I don't know. That's optional. Okay. What about this one? Oh, that's a cable. Battery cable. That one's okay. Do you want? Nothing. Yeah, these are this all electric over hydraulics. Had a little wood chipping mouse in there. Yeah, you think it's a sawmill or something, you know? Yeah. It's weird. Alright, we're gonna get these checked. Cute little battery. 
It is. That's for the tray that breaks. Break away. That one's good. We got oil. I checked that one. Were you paying attention? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was looking down in the rat hole trying to find something. All right, got those checked. And I'm gonna order a filter. I think we get this outside later, we'll blow it out or do something with it. So this is a power strip here. Um, so you have electric over hydraulic uh, pumps there. And if you notice this power strip only goes up to here. So until that carriage gets back here, uh, this will not start operating hydraulic. So this is like a copper strip. It's kind of corroded. So I'm gonna have Kevin clean it up the wire wheel. So when it comes back here, it makes a little contact. That all works good. So we're getting close to trying to fire this thing up and see if it works. All right, it's checking the antifreeze up here. Mud daubers got in the uh, overflow line and built a nest around the cap, but that overflow tube is blocked solid. There we go. Antifreeze is good, thankfully. Kevin's getting the chains lubed up, greasing stuff up here. We're getting close. You got the four whammy, three whammy in that package. Whoa. You got her in big mode, don't you? All right. Oh, Whoa. overachiever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm. Grease fittings everywhere. All right. Oh, Got water squirting out the there. other one. Okay. Let's see that. Okay. One more. Yeah, it's coming out. Right there where your hand just was facing me. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're going to be here a while, folks. Mm -hmm. We'll get her greased up and we'll be back. All right, we've been spraying and lubing. We're getting close to firing this thing up. I do know there's a travel lock on these things. Yeah, or I'll just go over top of them for now, Kevin. Um, we'll have to lift this up. I can lift it up and come back. I think this um, travel lock right here, I'm gonna have to go up a little bit, Kevin. And this comes out somehow if it starts. We're being really optimistic here. Um, I see another grease fitting down here. We missed two, a couple of them, one there and there. I'm sure we'll be finding more. my side all right let's see what happens we got power now maybe it'll go up a little bit if this thing works there you go i think you're loose over there bub like that it's magic If I need to go up more. Yeah, it looks like it lifts up off of it. <laughs> Let that spray lube will hit this gravel some more. It's moving. this chain lubed up over here in these slides now we can put our battery box cover on
All right, we're about ready to party. How you feel about it? I'm scared. You're scared? Well, this thing needs to be out of the way. Well, that little shaft broke off on that motor, Kevin. That's what slides the uh, guide in and out. I have to get a new motor. And we've never seen that little sprocket anywhere, have we? No. No. We'll have to get that before we can do much. I like, I like it. It's top heavy. We can saw a big old log here. Well, I'm gonna lower it back down and see if it um, fires. Or you wanna go back and see if any hydraulics work? We can do that too. It drives? It's yeah, it so drives. Oh. Drive it to the job site. Why is it stuck? Is there another lock in here I don't remember? Probably is somewhere. There's probably some wood miser guy screaming at me to undo this chain right here. What do I need to do? Drive forward? That chain under there? Yeah. Chain unlocked. Does that hang up somewhere? Mm. Unless you come back, you want to set that. See what we got here for hydraulics. May have to be running for those to work, I'm not sure. We'll set her back down here and fire her up. Hopefully. Need some more loop. All right. Are you ready? No. You watch the thing spewing over there? Proper lubrication. She needs a lot of lubrication. I just want to start it up. Oh, you missed a big spot. We'll have to run it around a lot. And get her lubed up. You ready for contact? Sure. That's real promising, isn't it? She locked up tight on the ground, bud. <laughs> We're in Wind Park. I think we're not making good connection somewhere. I say it's those battery cables. Huh? I say it's those battery cables. What do you see? Ah, oh, there was just some... It's all dust falling out? Yeah. It's freeing up. I think it was hung up on a log. Come on, old girl. She got any smoke coming out the chimney? No. Is that the throttle? The fuel is just throwing away that right here. Yeah, it's clicking, getting hot. I hope we need to bleed her out because she's been sitting forever. Oh, I thought you were going to go tell me to go get the cottage themselves. <laughs> you can do that and have a lot of haters. <laughs> you, you tell me, Bubby. I 
I guess we can do the right thing today. Uh, 11 sixteenths maybe. up some more with the key on in case the pump is dry. You uh ready for me to crank her there? Loose enough? Yeah. I'll try it a little bit more here. If not, we'll regroup. Alright. Party's over. Um the bleeder here. Yeah. That's oil pressure there. What's that? All right, Kevin's got the feed off the lift pump there. I'm gonna try to crank it and see if we got fuel coming out. You ready? Yep. A little bit. A little bit. Not impressive. Not yet. All right, got some more fresh fuel in there. Got some fuel coming out now. And a little fuel here. Definitely been sitting for a while. Let's see what will come out of here. Can I crank a little more to get it all out there? Oh, she's gonna go. She's gonna take off. Yep. That's just gonna be this side right here. Is it on all four? All four? Yeah. I don't know what model Perkins this is. 2.2 it says. Caterpillar. Perkins builds it. Cat just put their name on it. Cat Are you ready for contact? Here we go. She's running good. We don't have any hydraulics down here. So we probably got some dirty connectors. That's a brush. This fitting's loose here. It also looks like it's a little underneath it. I need to take it off and clean it. Clean it. There's a nut spin on the back side, of course. Is it really? It's kind of a bad thing to do to that guy. You know what? Huh, that's kind of weird. It's pulling right out. <coughs> That's a plastic nut, Kevin. Really? Yeah. I guess they do that so it don't touch the frame on the back side? Probably. Hmm, that's interesting. Very interesting. She needs cleaned up. Clean her up and I'll try to get her back together. It's a plastic nut also, Kevin. Clean? No. Hmm. 
Might need a little sander 9000. Yeah, she's been rubbing it hard. That's as shiny as Flavor Flav's necklace now, bud. Brand new. You think we'll make connection? I don't know. It never will. Oh, she's making connection now. Did you hear that? Clickage. Alright, we'll try that. Oh. No buena? No <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. We need to get a tester and see if we're getting power in certain places, huh? Mm. Mm. Okay. See if we're getting Let's voltages here. All right, we got power on the strip. Power on the cable. So we're gonna go back, back where here we want to this nastiness land that we didn't clean up yet. I hear Randy out there washing now. Let me get that for you. I guess we're going to have to start cleaning stuff. things we should have some power going on somewhere move it out of the way what's this one do that's got power on all the time so this would be the exciter wire is that right hit some of these other levers there's two sections well I'll try to figure out what's going on here and bring you guys back in we got power in places, but we're not doing what Where's we want to do. Where's my wood miser manual? I don't have one of those. These aren't that complicated. What tells the solenoid to turn on when you hit the hydraulic lever? Do we know that? That's all we got to figure out. All right, we've been doing a little figuring. We got good power up these two solenoids, so there's twin pumps in here. Um, each have power we can take a screwdriver and work the solenoids manually uh, they got a little switch down here so when you hit these levers it kicks that switch on and uh, grounds the solenoids out and they're grounding fine so i think what we're going to do is take a solenoid off here i think we might be able to take it apart it's probably got some dirty connections kind of like that starter was on that motor you guys kind of heard it's clicking and started working so maybe we can uh, make it work again here you ready to see what's inside? Hmm. A little dirty. I think we took apart more stuff than we should have. You think so? Definitely don't have a good connection, does it? Where? What's that? That's, oh, those are not connected no more. Mm -mm. Little wires are shorted. Okay. Kevin's got two little wires here that's not even, they've like rotted into or something. Mm -hmm. Well, found a problem. You can see where it was soldered. Yeah. And it just corroded off. Hmm. Now you know what the inside of a solenoid looks like. <laughs> Just a big old magnet. Mm -hmm. I guess I need to order some of those. Good thing they're close by. 12 volt continuous duty. Yeah, we need to get a parts list and see what else we need on this dude. I'll call him and get some parts ordered. And we'll be back here in a few minutes. That's a couple days for us. All right, we're back on the wood miser. We got some parts in just a couple days later. Mm -hmm. We got uh, new solenoids, little motor, air filters, belts, all kinds of belts. So uh, we got a grease cap to put on the wheel too. You guys are watching, I'm sure you guys pointed this out, but we're missing a grease cap cover on this wheel. 
we got one of those and we got something special to put on that so that doesn't fall off again so oh, we'll get i thought that. you were going to talk about my seal driver <laughs> i'm sure that's not approved we'll get lots of comments on that so that's right kevin's gonna get that stuck on there and then we've got a product here that hopefully will help from that uh, coming off again so i'm guessing probably a log or something's got up against that so All right, Mr. Kevin got that on there. We got the guys from uh, Alexander's RV, yes, Scott. Sir. Yes, sir. Matt. Matt. And you've got a product here. What's it called? Hub Huggers? Hub Huggers. Hub Huggers, yeah. So I've known Scott. You're what, third generation? Local, yes, sir. Local yep. business here, so you yep. your dad. And I know my, my dad talks about your grandpa a lot from time to time. So they've got a product that goes on here. It's actually kind of like a shrink wrap that keeps these... Um, axle caps from coming off so you guys know you got construction trailers all that stuff landscapers always bumping up you know like your dump trailers and that stuff and these things get knocked off just like this one did so when that happens of course you get all the road grime and grease and your bearings and just eats them up and all that good stuff so uh scott's getting it prepped here looks like we're wire brushing it off and putting some acetone on it so we get a good surface for it to stick to yeah just keep it keep it clean get it clean so there's a website i'll link it down below but uh, you guys can go in there and buy these but this is a when they heat this up this stuff gets really sticky and it turns into like a hard plastic shrink wrap so keeps those from coming off basically you're going to take a heat gun and get out of your way heat gun and shrink that on there All right, guys, got that heated up on there. It's a nice solid piece here. It's uh, turned into almost like a hard plastic. It's got that glue in there. So you've got how many different sizes? Got three different sizes available online. Website, hubhuggers.com. Uh, you can use either a heat gun. You can use uh, butane, little butane mini torches. Put them on. They've got good luck out of those. Uh, yeah, just check us out online at hubhuggers.com. And uh, if you need anything, got any questions, just uh, let us know. Uh, appreciate CNC Equipment having us out today, showing us our product here, and uh, look forward to seeing what happens out of this. So I can see this being a big benefit, just grease slinging on wheels and stuff like that too. Oh, absolutely, so, yep. Um, so yep. if a guy wants to go back in service, you can just slice these and kind of peel them off yep. and they'll come back yep, off you then? Just, you just take utility knife and cut them and uh, they'll break open, you peel them off, service your axles, as soon as you're done, install new ones, you're good to go. Uh, we, we recommend through our shop, uh, bearings like this on trailers, uh, RVs, stuff like that. Uh, have your bearings serviced once a year. So and, this is uh, gonna save a guy a lot of money from replacing hubs and spindles absolutely. and axles and all that stuff down. It's yep. a little little safety insurance up front there. So well, I can see that uh, being a good product. I don't think a log is gonna knock that off anymore. So the landscape trailers, any of that stuff yep. is gonna be, uh, going to benefit from that so guys appreciate you coming out hey, and setting this up so we'll uh we're going to carry on and get some more parts thrown on this thing all right Give him a hug. all right big thanks to guys hooking us up with the hub huggers you guys can go down below in the description visit their website i'll try to link the uh, comment top comment there too so they got like two or three different sizes they said so pretty nice product you can trim the length if they're too long or wait till they get uh dry and trim them off so Three easy steps, bud. Hey, Three. clean it. Fit the it, only problem I seen it. with it, I didn't catch this till it left. <laughs> and they had a yellow heat gun. <laughs> Wish I got out. Who does that? Buddy? There's other things in this world that you ain't caught too. <laughs> this, is a, this is a red shop. <laughs> uh, sorry, Milwaukee people. If it ain't red, leave it in the shade. We gotta get to work on our sawmill here, bud. Huh. Okay. Okay. Good good effort. All right, we're back at it with my friend Tucker. Will you tell him where <laughs> Kevin's over painting on the dozer next door? So we've got all of our parts for wood miser here. We're gonna start sticking them on. I got new solenoids going on. What are you working on next? I don't know. I don't even know how to work on this thing. Well, you're gonna learn. Um, if you want to pull that dash apart, and uh, we'll put that new potentiometer switch, the one that makes the uh, the plus or minus that makes the saw carriage speed. <laughs> Yeah, on the right, yeah, we need to replace that switch. So if you want to work on that, sure. I'll work on this. All right, we got the two solenoids in there. Before I can test those out, I have to get that station back down here so we have power. 
But Mr. Tucker's got this station all torn apart. Yeah, and we got a loose uh, extra wire. I don't know what it does. I haven't seen it look yet. It looks pretty clean in here. Yeah. You got the new switch? Mm -hmm. Ready to go in? That's the old one. That's the old one. Probably could test it and see if it's bad or not. Mexico. The old one's Mexico. Where's that one made up? I don't know. It doesn't say here. I could have some brushes in the travel motor bad too, but I didn't have any of the slow speed. It was kind of erratic, so I'm hoping this was it. All right, did put a new filter on there. Tucker's still wiring up that switch. I think uh, while this is sitting up in the air at a good spot to get to, I'm going to work on changing this motor out. So this shaft is broken. Sprocket's gone. We got a new chain and everything from Wood Miser, so we'll get this thing changed out. All right, this new motor just comes with some leads, so I think we're gonna do the same thing here and just cut this one off. Splice the wires together. this chain fed through here. This is the smallest chain the master link on earth. I don't even know how this goes. Hold that chain up there for me. I don't want to lose this master link. Well the good news is we got another one. I'm assuming this chain goes behind these rollers. But which side does it go behind? It can go either way behind it, can it? Yeah. Guess it doesn't matter. Not some more over this way, probably. Hold that over there. This is like the world's smallest chain. It's like think. literally, yeah, this is. We tried putting together a sprocket and the master link wouldn't fit. Now it's not gonna, we'll get it together there. We're gonna have to spin it where we can fasten the bottom clip on. Oh. Um, let's snug this motor up a little bit so it don't come off and then we'll spin it a little bit and see what happens. Turn your power on. Uh, right there. Is that this? Yep, turn that on. All right, you see the saw guide switches there on the left. Yep. Would it move? 
Move that. It's supposed to move this. Oh, that's a debarker. You're on the wrong piece. Why aren't we rookies? Well, right there it is. That's it. <laughs> Just, there you go. Go the other way a little bit. We'll get the master link on it. Keep going. Keep going. Here it comes. A little more. Well, that's probably good right there. I think the motor needs to get down. Yeah. Come back. A little rusty in it. Getting better. Definitely getting better. Let me check the slack in it. Oh, it's got too much or probably gotta have some, don't it? No, that's because you're going that way. I think it's probably good. It's running a lot smoother now, isn't it? Yeah. I'd say we're good. All right. Um, let's run this carriage back and we'll see if the hydraulics work since you put that switch in there. We need to see if that switch is working smoothly too. I'll come over there. So before, oh yeah, that fixed it. Now we got creeper mode. It wasn't working until like right there. Good job. Oh, I didn't replace my switch. Maybe good job me for diagnosing it. Sure. So now we got turtle speeds. I mean, I assume if your switch isn't working, it's probably your switch. It's a good possibility. Oh. What happened? Run over your old switch? We don't care about that anyway. Now, still have no hydraulics. Need to move that. All right, we had a bad connection. I think we still got a bad connection. Push back in on that. Or walk this forward a little bit. Do what? Just pick up on that orange thing and unhook that chain up there. You gotta pull that back towards you go on the other side. We're getting somewhere now. Just needs her on. I did bring a hickory log from the house. One's been laying out forever. I need to move that, do I? This one's a little bit different than ours. Hang on. You should be able to push that whole thing forward. There you go. Watch it don't get you when you let go. All right, that's a log loader. It look familiar? Spray that, spray that chain. Get some lube and spray that turner chain. place this air bagger to get these bolts out.
go. Oh, is that not the ones that hold it? It's these right there, isn't it? No. Yeah. Uh, Mer American Allen wrench, and we'll get those out. Now it's old. Though. Stickness. Does this need to go back? Yeah, you can pull it out, but that's not holding it. Oh. You got a screwdriver. It's probably just stuck on there from being there. Now I'm thinking about I forgot which way it went. It goes just like that. There in the inlet on this side. All right, got a new airbag in there and a gauge. Um, that kind of tensions the blade. I'm not sure exactly how this works. It's a little different than the one we got at home. Next thing on the list, we got some new rollers up here. I got some new ones. These were somewhat okay, they're a little sticky. We should have some new ones in the bag for some reason. They sent us uh, two sets, I think, so. I got four. I don't know. That look the same as this one. Looks like these are set up for inch and a quarter or inch and a half. Tight enough, I guess. Nice. So there's some little felt washers I include in the kit. It goes on both sides of that bearing there, help keep the oil and grease and stuff in there. All right, we got a bunch of belts to change now, Tucker. What? Bunch of belts. We got a debarker belt, we got a new dry belt for the motor, then we got new dry belts for the blades here. Those look like they're in really, really good condition. Yeah, they're a little old. We're, we're gonna make her all new again. We'll lower this saw down and get to work on those. You ready to take off a big belt? I think we gotta take this bolt off here and move it on. No, bud, we can floss it right over that wheel. But you could take one bolt off and the whole wheel would come off. Looks like a can of worms, don't it, to you, Uncle Scott? It looks like a can of worms. All right, just take this bolt out here. Don't open a can of worms if you don't need there to. There is no can of worms. Why don't you get a 5 8 like your daddy told you? No, you told me. <laughs> I'm glad you got the right socket now. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is a big old belt, son. Yeah. Looks like we may have to loosen this here, too, Tucker. Pressure is well, you, you got your screwdriver. There you go. Get in. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you got her. You like big wide belts? Cannot lie. We need to get this over this here. How are you supposed to do that? Look how bad that belt is. So we'll get this over this and we should be able to peel it off there. I don't think you're going through there. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll make it. We'll turn the camera off and it'd be like magic. You're almost there, Sammy. Two inch wide belt's not fun, is it? Oh, we got another thing another. here. Oh. Here, go that way with it. I could have got this off a long time ago with my pocket knife. Yeah, you know, that's actually very true. See, so yeah, I brought our people back in thinking we was going to get this on national television. Okay. What'd that belt do to you, son? You got hit the fan up there. That would have been epic. That would have, it would have broke a blade. All right, new belt. 
Go in. Oh, it'd go in so much easier. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Do you want to put it up there first? Or? No, I'd say you're on the right track there. Let's see you're getting it. Let me get on the back side of this. All right, I'm going to put our people down and we'll get this on here. Oh. What are you doing over this? It's not gym class, son. So All right, got that on. That wasn't too bad, was it? No. So this is a drive belt for the blade. The back side of the blades run on this rubber. Pretty simple design. Nice screwdriver. Got it right here. So this has a clutch. It moves this arm, pushes that pulley up, engages in to tighten the belt up when you engage the uh, drive. So yeah, these are loose. That's the way that is. Um, while we got this open, are we going to get a blade? Are we at that stage? I don't know. You tell me, Bob. We're getting close. Let's put this cover back on here. It goes out right here. We're getting close, people. All right, before we put the blade on, we got one more um, belt on this debarker and replace it so everything's all brand new. Tucker's loosening the bolts up on uh, it so we can slide it. There it goes. Is that cover not come off? I think so, that's what I got this for. <laughs> All right, getting a new belt on there. The old one was kind of a pain to take off. This thing is definitely shot. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. The debarker left or right. So we got the new belt on there. Got it tensioned, I think, pretty good. Tucker's gonna hit the switch. Make sure. Yep. Yep. Can you go back more that way? Which way? Back away from the log. There you go. Alright. I think that feels good. We'll tighten her up. One new blade. Get it put on there. around your wheel. Yeah, where's this supposed to be on the uh, Just in the center of it. Like these are sharp or something. Yeah, ow. Yeah. I feel like it's hot up here on top. There we go. Not sure how this works. We got a gauge here. I think it's uh, 80 psi. It says. This doesn't set the tension, does it? It says it does. Well, 65. We may have to um, 
run it a little bit and then it's leaking off is it kind of it's sitting there mm -hmm. let's let it sit there we got um put a new air filter elements in there and that clamp on the air filter housing <coughs> our friend tucker is fixing our broken clamp i got you a new one right here How about some new OEM air filters, Bubby? It's gonna make it run better. One last wood miser piece here to put on, a little stainless steel uh, thing. This one's not bad, but it's broke off. Let's see, we're missing some. Again, I can't, uh, I'm not sponsored by wood miser or nothing, but like that piece there is like 32 bucks. If we were working on a John Deere or Caterpillar next door, that piece would be like $200. It's kind of crazy. That switch that Tucker put in was like 20 some dollars. Again, if that was a heavy equipment switch, it'd probably be like a couple hundred. So I think all in all, I spent like $1,300 on all new parts, airbags, belts, um, solenoids, very reasonable um, for parts, for sure. And they're nice because they were here literally the next day. I think it took two days for another batch to get here from Greensburg, but they're super local to us. So very nice on that. We got a 2007 or eight machine here and parts are here the next day, so. Can't, uh, can't complain about that. Uh, we got one more thing down here. I think we need a half inch socket and wrench tucker. We'll replace this. Then uh, we'll probably give this thing a once over. We're gonna cycle the chains and stuff around, get them lubed up a little bit better. Then I guess we'll take her outside and uh, got an old junk hickory log. We're gonna cut that up for firewood, but hickory is very, very hard. One of the hardest woods here. So I'd get, definitely give it a test. We may saw some blocking up here for the shop um, out of it, so. That was reasonable. Right. You didn't like it the way I had it, huh? No, I'm putting it on the original way. Look at that, brand new. we got all the bugs out we had a little leak in the uh, blade lubrication system um, we got that fixed just had a loose filter screen under there so that drops water on the blade keeps it lubricated and cooled down but yeah we've been lubricating the chain I think we got everything freed up it seems like it's working really well good enough we're gonna take it outside and try it so I'm gonna kind of set you guys up on a tripod because I'm not gonna really explain what I'm doing but I'll kind of voice over it um, I'm not a professional sawyer so you guys can comment away about whatever but um i'll try to go over a few things in the video we do have one of these it's a little bit different so the controls are a little bit different our log turner is a little different so you guys see these rollers on the front and back we got one there and one there what that does we can lift one end of the log up um, especially like this big hickory you'll see it's got a big uh, butt swell on the end of it so we can raise this other end up so we get a nice center line through that heart because the heartwood is no good it's just trash wood so i mean you can cut blocks out they're just going to swell and bust so um usually there's a four before in there that's no good we'll saw out and throw away or whatever so but uh i'm not saying we might use it around here for something but uh we might get a little bit of blocking off that it's not much it's more just practicing with that so um yeah we'll get her outside we'll get these legs pulled up and uh, i think i'm just going to do it on the concrete out there so we can clean up the mess i could take it way out back but my luck, something's gonna happen to it, and our tools are gonna be way far away. My rear view mirror got so hot, it just fell. You should have left your window down, bud. I did. We're not working on red dump truck videos. Well, Uncle Scott pointed it out from there. Oh. All right. Let's get some legs lifted up and get this thing outside.
Set it down there on the picker upper. Beautiful.
sure you made a humongous mess out here, you know what? I know, just the guy to clean it up. I'm not cleaning it up. <laughs> That's just what you think. All right, got us a big old log. I don't know what that is. It's like a 10 by 10. We're going to probably cut that up and use it for blocking in the shop. So all in all, everything's like running super good. Um, I don't see no issues with it. So it's taking me a little bit while. It's a little bit different. This log turner is different than the one we got. So anyway, Mr. J's going to put it up for sale next, right? Do it. Yeah. Man, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ants down here. Why is that? Old rotten wood. Well, that's going to be a wrap on this one, folks. If you uh, like this video, do me a humongous favor. Go down below, hit that thumbs up button. It helps us out tremendously. And uh, make sure you subscribe. You never know what we're getting. You never know. You never know. Never know. Went back today and ended up with a log splitter and some other stuff. So. Yep. It's always something on this channel for sure. So we're going to get this all cleaned up. And uh, hopefully Jay got a video of it while it was running. If not, I got videos for you. You got videos for me. You didn't do your on, job, did you? I was on the phone. Fuck <laughs> like I am every day. All right. We're we're there. It's ready for somebody to cut wood. So guys, we'll see you later and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Come. Hubber. You guys Duck are too much. Make sure that you use a good heat gun.